So I'm not sure where this clip will be or if I'm even starting the video like this, but I just started organising my shoe room now. I call this my shoe room because there's mainly shoes in here. I'll just turn the light on. And what it is in my room, it's just a sort of like a cupboard that had a door on it when we came here and the door had a mirror. But I just thought, I don't like the way that the door looks. So I took the door off and I kind of made it into this mini shoe closet. I got some, uh, what are these called? Shelves from Ikea and I kind of just started filling it up with my shoes. So many of these pairs I don't even use anymore. Like pretty much that whole middle pair. I love those, but they're so scuffed and dirty and yuck. So I kind of want to get rid of those kind of want to get rid of those the top lot I don't mind and then I went through a phase of being obsessed with mules and Primark did them for like 10 pounds each and then I also had a friend at university that worked at Marks and Spencer's so I managed to get those and those and then I wore the gold pair from Primark one day for a night out and I went back to my boyfriend's house and I ended up leaving the shoe there now I can't find it so that needs to be chucked because I don't know where the other one is I've got some alcohol bottles down there and then a few bags that I use around the edges. And then I do also have the um, a few of these N style subscription boxes. And I don't know if anybody's ever um, had them before. They are from At Home with Nikki. She did them for about a year or so. I think I got three of them. And one of the boxes looks like that. Um, and then the other box looks like this. And you can like fold it. I don't even know how to do it without making it crazy but I've just taken it off I've just uh folded it down but I just had a bunch of stuff I found some like things from Kiki K that I bought years ago I was like this is gonna be for my future house it's like this really cute set of like bowls but I just don't know if I'll be using it so I want to go through that and maybe get rid of that maybe sell it and then I found some of the stuff that I got from those subscription boxes and they are really really cute like they they were kind of all to do with homeware and entertaining if you ever watched at home with Nikki like this was just a quintessential box for her like how to tie a bow and a ribbon the branding was absolutely gorgeous but I think after a while it got quite expensive for her to continue so she did actually end up um cancelling the box but like I got this for Christmas I think last year but I have so many of these um this was something that's got a little spoon there that came in the subscription box. What is this? Okay, this was another thing that came in the subscription box. It's like a bangle with like a hairband. And it's just like, these things are really cute. But I've never once in the like three or four years that I've had them reached for them. Uh, these are just some um, little trays that I got given for Christmas. That one is actually really cute. I like that one. Um, I don't know if I'll use this gold one. So, like, these are just types of things that I've got for Christmas that I'm just wanting to, or last, a few Christmases ago, that I just know I'll never use and maybe can pass on. These are just some trays with, like, I don't even know, this was the bottom of a box, but it had, like, a marble print. So, I was like, let me keep that. That would be cute. Like, more stuff that came in the box. So, I just need to go through this stuff and start to get rid of things that I just know I'm not going to use this is actually really cool this is like vintage cloth and paper um and this actually came in one of her subscription boxes it's just recipe cards which I think are really cute will I use them I'm not 100% sure and again these were from a pound shop Poundland and they had them four for a pound and I was like I'm going to use these for my future house and I just have a lot of stuff that I'm like I'm going to have for my future house <sighs> yeah I just need to sort things out also this as well from Erin Condren, which I'm not, not really a supporter of her brand anymore. So I don't really feel the need that, to keep this. So yes, just a lot of crap that needs to have gone through. And I, I'm going to try to take you along the process, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a montage because I'm just going to kind of be here, there and everywhere. But I just want to show you like the before. I've got a Jo Malone box here, which um when I used to work for the Estee Lauder company, I used to work for Mac, who were part of Estee Lauder um I got a whole bunch of stuff discounted I can actually probably show you um and I was like again I was like I'm gonna keep this for my future property and it's all really nice stuff oops um it's all really nice stuff I've got two candles and then two um hand washes but I don't know when these go bad or do they go bad at all so yeah maybe what does it say it says 24 months since when you open it but I might get in contact with their customer service just to see like how long can you keep it 
Then I've got these two candles as well, and they come with a really nice matchsticks. They're all black, so, so nice. So I'm like, I need to keep something like this because I'll use it, you know, in the future. But like, where do I put it? Like, it was in there before, but I just felt like there was a lot of crap in there. I do also have my new away suitcases that I... Um, I just put the medium into the large and then I have the little carry on. I want to put them in there. I want that to be their new home because they were just sitting here for ages. I have my professional makeup kit, which I really just need to sell. But there's so much stuff that, oh, do you, do you know, do you guys know what I mean? Like there's just stuff that you just, selling it is just so exhausting because no one wants to buy it as a job lot, but there's so much stuff in there. This is a really cute little, um... Will you be my bridesmaid from one of my friends? And she's got like the cutest little setup. I want to keep this like as is. And then like when I use it, just, you know. So um, yeah, I want to keep that somewhere cute. <sighs> More stuff from my old makeup kit. So this is how it's looking to start with. And I'm trying to like get it looking a little bit better. I want to start decluttering. But yeah, let's, let's go on this journey. Let's try and declutter our shit. Okay, so let's start with the shoes. Now... I really like this black pair here. Um, I also kind of like this green pair and I also like this nude pair. These are the most uncomfortable shoes in the whole universe. They are super cute, but very uncomfortable. So they will be going. Let me bring you guys a little closer. Now these are lovely, but they're extremely high and can be quite uncomfortable. As you can see, they're very worn. Um, the funny thing is people do buy stuff like this on ebay so they do tie up your leg as well and the one thing i don't like about them let me just pull you up is the fact that they do kind of like slip down your ankle which is kind of annoying they come untied really easily so i'm gonna get rid of those they can go moving on to this pair oh, i really like this pair they're like the perfect nude shoe but the back is really messed up. So I'm thinking of maybe taking them to a cobbler. So I'm going to keep those. Moving down. These, oh, I don't even know why I bought them. They're a bit scuffed here because I think I fell. <laughs> I think I actually fell wearing these, which is confusing because they are, they've got a block heel and I don't, fall, I can walk in heels very fine. Um, I got these from H&M like yonks ago. I, they're not my style. I don't like them anymore. So I'm going to get rid of those right the gold pair i'm gonna keep these were my graduation suit shoes so i'm gonna keep them as well and i'm just gonna bring this pink pair up slightly let me just show you so i'll bring that pink pair up i'm thinking to also move these down so let's move those down how are we looking right so this is what it's looking like so far kind of don't like how there's not three there though i'm just thinking what can i put there okay let's put this black pair of mules up here and maybe we can move it so that the green is at the end i do really need to clean these um shelves as well that's there this is going to be a hot mess of a video guys i'm just apologizing in advance i just don't think i'll wear these like the shade of pink yeah i'm i'm not gonna, I'm gonna get rid of those as well Obviously, I'm going to get rid of this lone one shoe. That can go. And then I've just got these two pairs left. I don't know if I'm going to wear them. What I'm going to do is I am going to keep them. And if in a few months time when everything is open outside, I still haven't worn them and I haven't got an outfit to go with them, then what I'll do is I'll get rid of them. Okay, so this is how... Let me just see zoom out for you guys you can tell i am out of breath i am tired i'm exhausted but i did want to show you guys this process i don't care if it's a hot mess of a video it's real life so this is what we're looking like for the heels um i do on this side have a pair of flats which i really like these actually and you can see it's so dirty because i've just literally worn them and they're not oh my god that's gross i'm gonna clean this afterwards i just want to get everything like straight first okay so that looks okay there then I have these, which I purchased these for like one of my first makeup jobs. And they wanted us, I was working for Chanel, they wanted us to wear like these. Now, they're very classic, but will I ever wear these again? No, they're not my style. So they're pretty much brand new. They've been worn once or twice. I'm going to get rid of them. I don't need them. 
okay that is gone so we're gonna do that and then i'm thinking maybe we can display my bags up here instead so let's see what bags we have and i'm literally stepping on stuff it would probably be a good idea to get rid of the shit on the floor um i have this Givenchy bag from a gift from a friend so i'm gonna keep that for sure but i don't really want to take it out because it's more like a clutch okay i am gonna take a disinfectant wipe because this is kind of disgusting right i've got off as much shit as i can the shelves are a little bit chipped so yeah i've got to bear that in mind so i've got this cute bag which i was using to take to work it's a really cheap one um i also have this makeup bag from bare minerals that i use that just has like stuff in it it's got like a tied to go pen body spray feminine products charges stuff like that so i'm going to keep that in there and I, I i'm i am gearing towards like not having as many bags but what i do like about this one is that it is pretty neutral it's quite simple and i think it i need to keep something like this for when i do go to work and stuff so i am gonna keep this one for sure i like the neutral kind of color and i think as i have grown up a little bit more i am not really here for like the huge bags which brings me on to the next one and i got this from just fab now it is a really nice bag let me i can't even see what i'm doing because this room is tiny but it's a really nice bag it has like two compartments here one here i've even got things in here what is that i've got see like i've got a makeup brush like what is that doing in here so morphe e8 that doesn't need to be in there that can go out um and then i have this side which i think this one is like padded for like a laptop and then it zips open have i even got anything in here no i don't it's just the stuffing now i love this bag but i'm probably never going to use it because it's so massive and i don't know what i'm going to carry in it and i'm just like do i get rid of it or do i keep it and I, i'm gearing towards just not keeping it because i don't remember the last time i pulled for it i love my smaller bags um and you can even just see the size comparison of how big that is like what am i going to keep in there i would probably have a separate laptop bag i probably wouldn't take my laptop and i don't even know if it will fit my laptop here i know it would fit an ipad but i'm um and ring let's just get rid of it so that can go on ebay or i don't know facebook marketplace and the next bag i have is this one this is from h&m i absolutely love it it has tarnished quite a bit i don't even know i'm sure it's meant to be gold but it's now turned like a rose gold color i really like this bag this is another one that um i used going to work and it just it's such a good size you can fit so much in there you can fit a book in there you can fit like a water bottle if you just keep it slightly open so i am going to keep this one this is a nice just everyday bag and i might actually transition into this being my sort of everyday bag from my small kate spade one so we're going to keep that and i am going to put the strap inside because i don't like how it sits okay doesn't zip up properly but yeah another tip i have for you guys is do stuff your bags with like i don't know tissue paper newspapers it does give it a really nice shape and it's easy when you want to carry it so i've got those two and then i have this one now i bought this and i don't even think the color is showing up it's a really nice pink i bought this when i went to edinburgh two christmases ago and it's a really nice bag i got it from tk maxx you guys in the us will call that tj maxx and it's a really cute bag as you can see when i saw it i fell in love it was really cheap um i don't think i have anything in here before i sell these i'm definitely going to go through and make sure there's like no money in here or anything i just don't reach for it it's not really my style anymore to be honest so that's another one that is going to go next up we have this one now this is from mango yes it's from mango now i use this quite a lot going out and i actually do really like it i just don't know if it's necessarily my style anymore but again what i might do is when the outside is open again and i'm able to actually go out and wear cute things like this i will see how much usage i get out of it in the next couple of months and if i do get enough usage out of it then i will definitely keep it so yes and if i don't then it will go so that's how we're looking so far i do have my louis vuitton alma which i do think i'm gonna pop in here i did have it in 
a um or on a little stool thing it's kind of like display in my room but i think it's better for it to just go in here so that all of my handbags are in here i've really over the years decluttered how many handbags i had i had a bit of a handbag obsession i think i probably had about 20 or 30 at one point and they were like mid they were like cheap ones they were high like high street ones zara primark places like that and when i i kind of started my luxury obsession and that's when i said to myself okay i'm not really going to get any more bags unless they are good quality luxury ones because i'd rather spend a bit more on a bag and it lasts for ages as opposed to just getting a bag because it's cute and it's going to break in like six months to a year so that's what i did um and ever since then i haven't bought any bags and this is my only designer bag but there's a few that i wanted and i was going to buy myself another louis one but i realized after looking at it that it's probably a bit too big it's the montaigne bb which to be fair it's not massive but i think the next luxury bag or luxury purchase i'm going to get is going to be like a crossbody something maybe a bit smaller than this or this kind of size but there's been nothing on the luxury market that's really that i've really loved so yeah i'm kind of just holding out um i might get like a mini pochette or something or a pochette sorry not a mini pochette um i don't know i don't know but this is what we're working with so far and it works for me so then i just have if i bring you guys down right down here i just have my louis vuitton bag and boxes which i'm obviously going to keep um big tip keep them because you can actually sell them even if you don't use them this just has a few of my louis vuitton pieces in here that i do actually keep this was sweet this was from my essay for my birthday when i went in and uh bought something but yeah it's just boxes that's for the bag and then there's a few other bits in there as well i'm just going to keep that here i don't really feel like it needs to be out then what have we got we've got about five billion umbrellas so they can all go <laughs> i'm not even joking i've literally got one two three four so yeah they can all go along with an umbrella case they don't need to be in here then we have some alcohol which again i don't really feel like this needs to be in here um i don't i'm not really a drinker if i'm completely honest with you i rarely drink but this was this was my boyfriend's which i don't drink jack daniels um he accidentally put it into my bag so we had a picnic so this is from our picnic he got me this as part of like a valentine's day gift it's actually really cute it's like glittery i don't know if you guys can see it's pink gin i do love pink gin and then my drink of choice is southern comfort so yeah i've got those which i don't think i'm going to keep in here they don't need to be in here i've got a door stop and some cups so they can again not need to be in here along with some rose gold straws so let's get those out then what i had stuffed in that corner there were just my gym trainers which i actually just well a couple of months ago i put them in the wash um so what i will do is just so that they're kept kind of fresh i'm going to put them into this dust bag which i love these dust bags i've got two of them and they actually came inside a zara handbag that i bought um they were like a handbag insert and they came they've got like a little zip at the front but they're really good for shoes i just tend to use them as shoe bags when i like travel so i don't need to keep these in here just because i tend to keep the rest of my shoes on a shoe rack in my bathroom i know that sounds really weird but i promise you it's not <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna keep that there and then i'm also gonna take this dust bag as well and keep that in there as well right i've taken you off of the tripod so we can come to the floor um i have got this which i actually got for free off a of facebook marketplace a lady was just giving it for free and it's essentially like this little lit backdrop that you can like put products into <sighs> come to think of it i don't know if i'm going to use it so i'm going to keep it just in case in case i want to do product shots and things like that that's the reason why i said oh i'll have it um but yeah i'm going to keep this in here anyway because i do have a tripod in here that i'll be keeping i've also just realized i've never worn these before can you see they were nine pounds and i'm sure i got an even better discount because my friend worked at mns yeah i've got a feeling that i'm oh, i don't know should i keep them guys let me know down below should i keep them they've clearly got dust on them but they've never been worn okay let's go into this box which i don't even remember what's in here ah it's my erin condren planners i was wondering where these got to oh my gosh this is definitely a throwback um oh my god oh dave ramsey so you guys know i'm not actually using my 
Erin Condren planners anymore. Um, it's just a personal choice. Nothing against anybody that uses uh, an Erin Condren. They served me really well for as long as I use them. Um, I will be keeping these just for memories, but yeah, I don't really want to keep them in this box. I don't feel like they really need to be in this box. So I think I'm going to keep these in like a cupboard where I keep kind of like stuff that I want to remember and keep. So yeah, this can come out completely. Okay, what I've done here is I've just popped this, um, I think this is a light box. I need to double check. It's either a light box or a tripod. So that's that. And then I do have that little thing that I was showing you guys before. This is the tripod I was just using. That will also go in this corner too. I am thinking of keeping my um, end style boxes just there. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I could probably layer two and it would be okay. Because they are really useful. I just, I'm just thinking, do I need how many that I've got? Because I've got one that I use to like hold my scarves and leggings and stuff inside my wardrobe i've got this one i've got another one and then i've got another one so i've got four i don't feel like i need four so what i might do is just get rid of one that's what i'm thinking yeah let's do that so i've just bought the other one in and i showed you a brief look before at the box i've got these which i thought would be really cute storage boxes have i ever used them since no so i'm gonna get rid of those I'm really trying to be good about getting rid of stuff. That, I'm going to get rid of it. It's even got some stains on the side anyway. <sighs> this is another one, which this is really cute as a little tray, even though it's like damaged on the side. Okay, I, I'm going to keep this one just because I do think I can put something on there. So we're going to keep her. This one. Oh, I got this for Christmas from like my mom or my sister or something, but... Again, I'm just, I don't really use things like this and the gold is not necessarily my style. So I am going to probably pass that one upon. If my sister's watching this, look, I am sorry. Actually, she didn't get me that one. That was from my mum. This one was from my sister, which I will keep this one because it says my name on it and that's very cute. So we'll keep her. Okay, so... <laughs> I was at one point really obsessed with eye masks and I guess I think I got like two for one year for Christmas. I've never actually used this one. Let me take it out of the packaging so I can feel it properly. Okay, it does feel very nice, but I just don't use these anymore. So this might be another thing that I do sell or pass on or donate. But it is very cute, I have to admit. Then we've got this, which again, this was another thing from Nikki's box. Um, It's like the hair tie bangle thing and it's like handmade, which is really cute, but it's just not my style. So that will be sold as well um i don't know maybe i'll give that to my mum and she can re-gift it to someone does anybody else re-gift presents that they're given that they just know they're not going to use i always feel bad doing it but i'd rather actually something go to a good home than just sit in my cupboard and collect us like these things have been for like four years so yeah it's not really a gift to be fair i did buy it well i bought the subscription box then there's obviously these cards which are just for for entertaining i actually really like this i'm going to keep that one this is essential oil cleaning tips so how you can clean with essential oils that's another one i want to keep and then obviously the bow one so i think i will keep these cards just because they're quite nice to have um and i'll keep them in this end style box envelope next up i have the cloth and paper recipe cards if it wants to focus now these are so cute but if i'm being completely honest i'm probably not going to use something like this if i have got recipes i'll probably put them into a binder and have them like that i don't think i would have them like this and i guess you could punch these but they are so small they're like the size of just slightly bigger than my hand um i don't know are they pocket sized maybe pocket sized i don't know but yeah i'm just not going to use them so it's better that they go to to a different home um and they are actually brand new like i haven't even opened the packet so i can sell them probably in one of the d stash groups then obviously the Erin Condren ornament which i will be getting rid of these two uh packs of coasters i'm gonna keep those this is fun this is a rose gold scissor scissor <laughs> a pair of scissors um and this also came in the subscription box craft scissors i'm gonna keep those because they're always useful what do we have next okay so we've got this the laundress focus wash and stain bar um vegetable soap sorry my camera is not wanting to focus today vegetable soap borax and essential oils i feel like this would be handy maybe i can just bring it downstairs and then whoever does the washing well 
I do the washing too, but <laughs> when people are washing, they can use this. So yeah, we'll bring that downstairs. It doesn't need to be up here. Then we got this, um, what does it say? It even comes with a little Cherry Ridge Wood Products. It came in the box as well. Um, and this is the guy that owns the company, his details. But I think it's, oh my God, I think it's meant to be like a little, like, I don't know if it's, it's probably not a chopping board. I think it's just like for de decor. Someone tell me in the comments what this is for. Have I used this? No. Will I use it? I don't know. It kind of just seems a little bit random for me to just keep it. This is definitely something my mum could use for decor with like, um, like a floral arrangement on top of it or something. So I'm going to give that to her. She can have that. I don't need it. Just some like ropey stuff, which I think the block was tied around um and then we have this which came in the box as well and it's meant to be like a little menu thingy but this could be quite cute on my desk to just have like a picture because i've got i've actually got my anniversary card which is just sitting on my desk but it'd be quite, quite nice if i could just clip that in there so i'm gonna keep that i'm gonna put that on my desk and then last but not least we do have this really adorable mug and spoon set which i've got um, again from the box and my spoon did come cracked so they just sent me another one which is why I have it like that I like this and I think this is a cute little thing to have um, that I'll definitely use in the future I'm one of those people that just likes to have things new for when I'm doing something different so when I went to university I got a whole bunch of new stuff to have in my room and I do feel like when I eventually buy my own property like this is something that I would love to have just like my cup of like green tea in every evening i've got like my little spoon i've got like i don't know i'm just a bit weird like that anyone else like that let me know but this is something i'd want to keep and then this is also something i'd want to keep for like my future house so that was the kind of hope and thought with these boxes keeping them that they would kind of be like stuff that i could use when i purchased my property and i've got all of these new nice little bits that i've picked up throughout the years for me to essentially keep so I think I'm going to keep this. Um, I'm just going to wrap it back up in the um, bubble wrap and I'm going to pop the things that I'm keeping back in this box. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, I've put it like that, I put everything in there and then I'm just going to stuff this on top just to make sure it's kept all safe. Pop the lid on. And then that can go in the corner. And then this one can go on top. I just wish it all was straight. And then I'm thinking, I'm wondering if, no, it won't. I was going to say, I'm wondering if the Joe Malone box would fit on top of that. Um, but I might just be able to stuff it here. I do kind of not want a ton of stuff on the floor, but hey ho, we're going to have to, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with that. I'm going to go take a break and go and get some brunch, breakfast, whatever. And I'll be back and we can organise the rest of this. Okay, while I was eating lunch, I did have a bit of a brainwave. I actually think it might be a good idea to keep all of my old planners and agendas um, in one of these boxes instead of just keeping them in my cupboard because they are kind of out of the way and I could use that cupboard more functionally because it's easier to access. So I've just found a few of my old agendas. I've even got some stickers in here. Um, when was this? This was 2019 and I only started using it towards the end, as you can see. And then... The same with this one, which was 2018, I believe. And I only started using it halfway through the year because I got it in the end style box. That's actually how I found out about Erin Condren. And like, I remember I went to these networking events about money, put them in here. I put how much I spent each day and like budgeted each day out. I was so cute in 2018. Um, and I had like different sections, budget, notes. I literally, this is how I used to literally do my budget, which is crazy. Um, and it's very cute and very simple. I kind of miss that simplicity of budgeting. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then I would do like what I sold in uh, from eBay each month. And this is when I first wanted to start my sticker shop and how much each item would cost. Oh, I was so cute. These were like some of my first sticker designs that I never really ended up using. Um, but yeah, very cute. And then this is from, I think this is even from 2017. This was my moleskin. No, it's not. 2014 doesn't actually say i think it was 2014 um i was still in school and i found this really cute note that 
just one of, one of my old managers actually um, left me and she just wrote it at the back of my agenda because I literally carried this agenda everywhere I went and this is just so lovely um, and yeah, really happy with that. I'm so glad I found that. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy I found that because that was really sweet. But yeah, these were like, this is what I used for my binders. I like <laughs> had them blue tacked onto my binders for school. These are the, th the three subjects I ended up carrying on in my last year of school but um yeah and I remember like oh it's just so crazy how much stuff is in here um yeah I think this is either I think this is 2015 it could have possibly been 2014 but yeah so cute um and then as you can see it's battered up like I literally kept this in my bag and you can see it was very well loved and that is kind of what started my planning obsession and then in here I just have um inserts when I had my uh file effects so yeah there's more inserts in here and this was from my my uni sort of days but yeah I want to keep all of these because I think they're cute um so what I will do is I'll pop all of those into the top box there I just swapped what was in each box and that is my finished agenda box I am just gonna put the lid on this one I don't know what do you guys do with your um agendas like how long after do you keep them where do you store them like do you ever look back at them like I'd be really interested to know what you guys do um just because I am kind of not sure like I obviously want to keep them for memories but realistically how many times am I really gonna reference them I don't know We'll see. They are like a nice memory, right? And I've got all of this paper everywhere. <laughs> I need to hoover up. So that's what it's looking like so far. Um, I'm probably going to go get the Joe Malone bag and or box rather and see where that's going to go. I could possibly, no, I was going to say I could put it under the Louis Vuitton bag, but I don't think that will work. Um, I am going to get rid of these just boxes and stuff. Um, my mum might be able to make use of this box because it is really nice, but I just don't need it in my room. So I'm going to take that out of this room as well. I think we're done. Let me just show you a quick little tour. I've just popped the suitcases back in. So I have got my... Um, carry on away suitcase and then I have my medium and my large that are just here in in each other which is really handy then I popped my printer now this is an extra printer that I've got that doesn't really work I have got a warranty on it though so when I get a minute I need to actually call them up and get them to repair it for me because I still have another year of warranty on there so I didn't want to get rid of that but I wanted it out of the way um I'll just go up top here I've obviously got three layers of shoes and Again, these are a work in progress. I probably won't end up keeping all of these by next year. Um, I need to fully go through them again, try them all on, uh, try them on with like my, I guess my new sense of fashion because when I bought these, the way I dress was very different. So yes, and it will probably be those two that will go the quickest, to be honest, and maybe those um, because I just don't reach for them that often, but I don't want to totally get rid of them now. Uh, moving down, I do have my Jo Malone box. We've got the two at home with Nikki boxes that have got the bottom one has um old planners and planning inserts and the top one has a few bits and bobs that I'm collecting for my future first property we've got my Louis Vuitton shopping bag with all the little boxes and other bits and bobs in there uh, in this corner I do have some kind of light box type thing um the other little light box thing and then I've got my Louis Vuitton bag my Givenchy just a pair of um flats and then my three just kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to say everyday bags because I don't use them every day, but just <laughs> three bags. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what we're looking like. Let me just take you out a little bit. I have got the spotlight up there. Um, it's a really nice room, actually. I kind of wish I could get some art to go on this side. I might actually look to do that. I wanted to frame the cloth and paper little, they had like a quote that came in their box i might actually do that but yeah i really like this it's a it's definitely a lot more clear and clean and less cluttered than it was before i can kind of see everything and i can actually get in without like struggling um and finally this part of my room is clear which is where the suitcases were before and um, that's by the way where my louis vuitton bag was sitting before so it's nice to actually have it in here with the rest of my bags and shoes. So yes, guys, I'm sorry for how crazy and like unorganized this video was. I literally picked up the camera halfway through cleaning and I was like, this would be a good idea to share my process. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what areas in your house are you now starting to tackle? I feel like as I get towards the end of the year, I'm just wanting to declutter and get rid of so much stuff. So yeah, let me know down below. Please make sure you're subscribed and you do like the video if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.